Well, good morning everybody. Lovely morning again. True story again for you this morning. Mike Krennic and I were work colleagues for a while. In fact, he finished up being my works man my manager at the work. Anyway, Mike and I always were like that. Uh, Celtic Rangers against fun banter, but I was a lot of banter. And he'd avoided the, the poems until I hurt the deer. It was Mike that hurt the deer, mine. Anyway, being the manager, it didn't stop him being in the firing line of a poem. In 1977, the Tartan Army went down and beat England down at Wembley. That was the occasion where they, they broke the goalposts and dug up the turf and brought it home. Or the bloody hooligans. Obviously, when Mike and I were working, this story reappeared, and there, lo and behold, was Mike in the front page of the paper, postman's heart on, dotted turf in his hand. I'll post you the, vi the photo to go with the video. So, he got the poem, it's called The Wembley Hooligan. At last, the chance to rip the piss. He took you on Bobag Mike. So many times I've had the urge to tell him, take a hike. Not up until the other day, he kept himself concealed. But then some info came to light. The trashy son revealed he'd been a Wembley hooligan. When all his army went down south to play on Reeves' team, the prospect of a victory was everybody's dream. But Gordon heeded him the first. Then Dalglish then made it twa. McShannon scored but way too late. It was your turn to crawl and be a Wembley hooligan. Well, thousands of our tartan fans let tower the barricade and ran on to the unhallowed turf just like a cavalcade. The goalpost landed with a crash. The corner flags were game and clods of grass were dug up quick. Souvenirs to attack him by every Wembley hooligan. Old Mikey boy was caught in film, though he was in disguise, with Polo's hat upon his head that wasn't off a wise. The Rex boys made him front page news, and for a cheeky chap, his mother spied him straight away and gave him sicker slap. You were a Wembley hooligan! <laughs>